Hello and welcome to Lord Finn Gaming Plays Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I am your host Lord Finn. In today's uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne guide, I'm going to show everybody how to finish the Pearl Snatchers quest event and also how to make a Pearl Spring helmet. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Monster Hunter content like this. Now, this is very important. These events do come once in a while. Now, if you do miss this uh, Pearl Snatchers quest event, Here's the thing, they come back during the seasonal events or on a calendar schedule. So do not panic, they will not go away forever. So first go to the uh, message board right here, quest board I should say. And this is what you're looking for, is pearl snatchers right there for the uh, quest to get. Yeah, that's the one you want right there to select. It is a master rank so be warned about that. Once you are good and ready to go, select it and uh, select how many players you want to do this and we'll be on our way. And select camp number 5, it is the closest. This will help you out immensely. So now we select that, I'm going to skip ahead in the video. Now here's the map where we're going to go to. From camp 5 we're going south first towards the hot springs. Yes, we're going towards the hot springs then northeast in case we cannot capture all of them. So here's the map right now, then I'll tell everybody quickly what gear you need. Obviously you automatically got a net. Second, we need a ghillie mantle. This makes uh, capturing a lot easier. Go into stealth mode once you are nearby because if you're just running around, the little critters will run away and you have to wait some uh, time until they uh, return. So I'm going to attempt to capture many of them as possible. That's why I marked two locations on the uh, map for this video. So creep very silently, be very quiet. And we're going to attempt to capture these little uh, buggers. These are the buggers right here you need to capture. They're in the hot springs waiting so innocently inside warming up. So line your uh, net. You got to make sure you equip it first. Once you do, line it up. There you go. When that bar is a uh, different color, that's when you capture it. And then quickly try to capture the rest on the way. See, we already got two right there. So that is uh, two of uh, six so far. We're going to try to capture the other ones. So we're going to capture these last two here. That's one right there. And we're going to capture one more before we go towards the other hot springs. There you go. We have four or six right there. We missed one, unfortunately. But the good news is there's another hot springs, and it's very nearby. Earlier in the uh, video, I just mentioned the northeast hot springs right there. You see that right there? That's where we're going to uh, next to capture last of these uh, little uh, pearl spring uh, creatures. So we're going to do that right now. Now we're going after the last set of these uh, little uh, critters to capture with our nets. Now if you do not have your uh, ghillie mantle on uh, charge, you need to walk very slowly and try to creep behind the uh, fifth one right here like I'm doing right now or whatever number you're on. So there you go, capture it. Now the others will be definitely uh, heavily alerted so you need to be quick and start capturing the last ones. There you go, now the uh, Pearl Snatcher's quest event is officially done and over with. So remember you need a ghillie mantle and you automatically have a net which is uh, good. And just remember the two hot spring slots. If you miss any between the two then well you have to wait until they actually do return. They will return. So now we're going to get the uh, quest complete screen right here. This will officially tell you officially uh, completed it. Now we're going to look at the tally real quick. See there's the Pearl Spring ticket. We're going to need exactly three of them. We got three of them so that step is now done. We got ourselves a thick bone, which is good. And there is a gem right there that's ram. Now, thick bones are from bone piles. Real easy to find. Just use my uh, bone pile guide for that. As for the uh, prize pelt, go back to Hoarfrost Reach and look for these little horn animals like this. Yeah. We're going to keep on uh, attacking them until they are down. We're going to need exactly two of them, and they always drop it most of the time, I should say, at least. So I'm going to try to kill this other one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to kill it, but still, you got to kill two of them. There you go, should be about there. There you go, it is down for the count. Make sure you loot it up. You're going to only need two of them. Now, as for uh, thick bones, well, bone piles is a great place, and there's so many of them. So that's the uh, first pelt right there. We're going to need one more, and then I'll uh, get back to the uh, armor uh, crafting uh, screen. So I'm going to go over here up ahead. And then uh, get the uh, second one so we craft our armor. There you go. Charge your whatever weapon you have. Take it out. There we go. It is down for the count. 
and we're going to loot the second one. That's all you're going to need exactly uh, two. So loot it up and there you uh, have it. Now go back toward the uh, forge area right here where I'm at and I'm going to show everybody what's the uh, ingredients to actually uh, craft all this. So here it is. You're going to need uh, Pearl Spring tickets that is from the event prize pelt that's from Ant Kiyas. Those are little animals I uh, killed with my uh, great sword. Thick bones, they're from bone piles, plus for cash you need 9,000 of that. So we're going to craft that right now. Once you're uh, ready and good to go and have enough materials and money, start the uh, crafting uh, process. We're going to actually start right about now. So we're going to actually craft this up and it should be doing it. There you go. There is our new uh, helm right there. We're going to equip it right here right now. It's a very good helm, so next portion of the video, I'm going to actually show everybody the uh, stats of it and see if it's well worth it. Here's the stats. That's 120 armor. That is uh, 5 on ice resistance. There's 2 gem slots. One of them is a 1 uh, gem slaughter and another one's a 2 gem slaughter right there. It's a really good starting out uh, helmet for a uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne right there. Well, that is it for my uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne how to get a Pearl Spring Helm and how to uh, finish the Pearl Snatcher uh, quest event. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing out. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.